In China, we have an old proverb that says, a room deprived of its ceramics is a room deprived of elegance. In other words, if there are no ceramics in this room, then it's not a refined room. A blue and white ceramic vase changes the atmosphere of a room. It shows that you are with cultured people. Given the modernity of some Beijing neighborhoods, it's hard to imagine today that here we have found traces of civilization dating back 300,000 years. The past is present everywhere. The Temple of Heaven, with its blue tiles, is one of the most symbolic representations. It originated in the 14th century, a time when the emperor was thought of as the son of heaven, charged with maintaining the link with heavenly authority to preserve order here on earth. Beijing has preserved its ancestral crafts. Venture into its suburbs, and you discover little workshops that are keeping ancient know-how alive. Here, one hour's drive from the center of Beijing, in an artistic neighborhood, you still find an art that is highly prized by the Chinese and collectors from all over the world. That of blue porcelain, a technique invented in China between the 7th and 10th centuries. I'm going to make a window in the ceiling of the train to let in the air, Dad. But our train is missing a wheel. No. Don't you want to add a wheel? One, two, three. One, two, four. And your train has no headlights. It might run into another train coming towards it. The train switched off its headlights. Oh? Guangzhong Yu and his family have lived from the art of porcelain for around 15 years. It's here in the family workshop that the porcelain pieces are turned. Porcelain is a ceramic in the same way as terracotta or sandstone. These pieces are historically called garlic bulb vases. This part in particular really looks like a garlic head. We used to put flowers in there. It's quite aesthetic. It's a very classical form that dates from Chinese antiquity. These are the vases of the celestial vault. When we put this type of vase on a table, it is a beneficial sign, a symbol of peace. The word ping means vase and an means table, which gives pingyan or peace. The production of blue porcelain, known in China as blue and white, began properly during the Yuan dynasty in the 13th century, at a time when China was opening up to the west with the Silk Road. The blue color of the porcelain is only revealed after a long firing process. All of the color's shades of intensity and transparency are imparted by the artist, who must paint without seeing the final color.
the initial brush stroke is decisive. It's done on the pottery before it goes to the kiln, which leaves no room for error. After being fired at a high temperature, that is, above 1300 degrees Celsius, extremely bright colors spring up on the surface of the vase. These pigments that we use were imported from Muslim countries, in particular the Persian Empire, during the Yuan dynasty between the 13th and 14th centuries. At the time, the color was called Persian cobalt. This material is similar to India ink in its application. The four-shade method can also be applied to cobalt. The color can be dense, light, dark or clear. It was Persian cobalt oxide that really gave this art of blue and white porcelain its identity. A material which, when it was imported into China, cost more than gold or tea. Six years ago, I began to learn how to make and paint the blue and white type ceramics. The experience taught me that ceramic painting must harmonize with the shape of the objects. The drawing is in three dimensions like a sculpture. It's not like on paper where the surface is flat. Traditionally, the patterns on blue and white ceramics were a mixture of floral motifs inherited from the Persians with Buddhist symbols such as the phoenix, the dragon, the peacock or the fish. Guangzhong Yu and his wife are trying to revive the art of porcelain by painting motifs that are more contemporary. In China, we have an old proverb that says, a room deprived of its ceramics is a room deprived of elegance. In other words, if there are no ceramics in this room, then it's not a refined room. A blue and white ceramic vase changes the atmosphere of a room. It shows that you are with cultured people. That's why ceramics sell well and why they have a certain value. The price of a blue and white ceramic is very high, in particular, vases from the Yuan dynasty. For instance, 10 years ago, a famous vase from this dynasty was sold for over 100 million yuan, or 13 million euros. 